Welcome to this new features video. Highlighting a new decarbonization feature within Apache HVAC in our latest IES VE release, VE 2024. The central plant heat pump, or CPHP, can now use a heat transfer loop, HTL, as a heat source or sink when it's configured in water to water mode. This provides significant new capability and opportunities for modeling of heat recovery between different hydronic loops serving coincident heating and cooling loads. It also enhances the ability to model geo exchange systems more explicitly. This similarly enhances the fidelity of HVAC models, where the coupling of condenser heat recovery sources, combined heat and power, solar water heaters, and cooling towers or fluid coolers is included in the design. By coupling CPHP serving a hot water loop to an HTL, the heat rejected to the HTL by other equipment on that loop can now be accessed. CPHP serving a chilled water loop can reject heat to the HTL, making that heat available for use by WAHPs and or water source VRF systems. Coupling to a cooling tower or fluid cooler for rejection of excess heat via the HTL allows CPHPs in cooling mode to run as water-cooled heat recovery chillers. When configured correctly, the permutations for these systems are vast and will allow the simulation of a multitude of modern decarbonization strategies designed to maximize the recycling of heat within a building before needing to acquire or reject it to an external energy reservoir. Thank you for watching this new features video for VE 2024.